It's time! Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want... Life goes up and it goes down Hey pretties, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Tanya and I film all kinds of pink, girly, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos on this channel. If that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and push bell notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. It is time! Christmas is here this week. I know, I know that like I'm overly jolly around the holidays. I think it's just something growing up like no matter what struggle we were going through. I just, you know, Christmas was always a happy time and my mom like made sure Christmas was always a happy time for us regardless of like If you guys have been here long enough, you understand what I'm talking about I've talked about my childhood and stuff quite a bit on my channel I'm not gonna get into that today because this is a happy, jolly, beautiful Christmas video I'm so excited for today, I'm going to be getting ready using some new holiday palettes You guys know, you guys know the palettes that you guys wait for every year for me to like kind of review and stuff so we're going to be doing that today and I'm going to be giving you guys a Christmas room tour. So I understand I'm jamming a lot of content into one video, but the thing is Christmas is literally on Saturday or Christmas, Christmas Eve is on Saturday, right? It's Christmas on Sunday. I don't know. My days are all jumbled up ever since finals. I don't even know what day it is, but <laughs> I know Christmas is this weekend and I definitely want to get this content up for you guys and we have a lot of content to do and not so much time. So we're going to do a Christmas get ready with me and I'm going to be showing you guys a tour of my Christmas room today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and start getting ready. For skincare I'm going to be using some Charlotte Tilbury products. We have her magic serum and her magic eye cream for moisturizer i'm going to be using my lancome hydra zen um you guys know this is adorably packaged it's pink even the cream inside is pink if i'm like kind of a little rushing or talking fast that's because i know this video is going to be very long with the tour in it so i'm trying to make this video like 30 minutes max so that you guys don't like get bored of me because like i don't know i don't know girl but don't click out don't click out it helps you grow out if you watch the whole video it really does so so many thank yous if you do watch from beginning to end you are the real mvp and i really appreciate you it helps me continue to make my content and you know we love that we love that for us on this channel what are you guys doing for the holidays my family is who i'm spending the holidays with and manny works on christmas which really sucks but it's not like all day so he'll still get to spend some christmas with us he does have to go into work which sucks but It'll be okay. So I will be working on Christmas as well because I will be getting videos up for you guys. I love what I do so it doesn't always feel like work, especially around the holidays. It's my favorite time of year. It's my favorite time to film videos. So I'm very blessed to have a job like this. So thank you to you guys, of course. You're going to ask because I'm going to be using this to like do my makeup. This is a little mirror from For Her Vanity. So I'm going to link it down below. Um, I think she was giving this as a free gift with purchase. So if that's still available, I will also put it down below. But this is... Just freaking adorable, like, can we not? It's so cute. I'm going to do my brows real quick off camera because that's like kind of boring. My brows are done. I'm just using concealer for my eyeshadow primer. I usually use my Jason Wu primer, but I don't have it with me today. So we're just going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer. Sometimes there's just nothing like using your fingers, girl. I don't know which palette I want to use. Let me show them all to you first. So we have this one and this is like a little cookie sheet with cookies, like Christmas cookies. And the colors are these really pretty like neutral, like cool tone neutrals. Next we have this like chocolate chip cookie sheet. This is like a lavender palette. And this one has like more like neutrals that are neutral a little warm not too warm and it has like a, a little plum shade here i have my favorite which is this pink one it's little gingerbreads all over it it's so adorable this this one has honestly my favorite type of color story as well this is a Too faced santa secret or secret santa palette this one the colors are like I don't know, they feel redundant to me, like they're not special colors. I did get this on sale though, and I mean the, cap the packaging is very, very cute. I think this palette I might use for like a New Year's get ready with me. This one has a You Drive Me Glazy on it. Donuts with the little ribbon. It's just a little bow that makes it look kind of holiday, but the inside has like so many different 
options to choose from. I love palettes like this when I travel too. I will be out of town for the new year, so I'll probably this is what I'll take. Um, very cute packaging. Too Faced always kills it with the packaging. We know that. Go ahead and use the pink one just because, I mean, we saw it coming, right? We all saw it coming. So we're going to use the pink one. And um, hopefully I will get to use the other ones for other vlogs here pretty soon. I'm trying to vlog and post as much as possible during my break because... Once school is back, it's back to posting one or two times a week for me. <laughs> Just because school, I, I go full time. So it's, you know, I get really hectically busy with school sometimes. And um, I, fo I tend to like prioritize that and focus on that right now. But there will always be weekly uploads. You guys know that always. I'm going to take the color Slay What, which is this here. You know what? I'm going to do my eyeshadow look. I'm going to speed this forward. And then I will tell you guys what colors I used in the end. Because I don't even know what I'm doing right now. look that I do a lot and so I feel like I just I mean it's impossible because these colors are colors I use a lot so that's okay but I feel like I really wanted to try this mistletoe color and so I'm going to pop it on I'm going to explain to you guys what I've done so far though crease color deepened up crease color um eyelid color here and then I did take this plum color to kind of make a full liner and so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put this one kind of in between um, you guys will see because it's like hard to explain, but I'm just going to pop this one kind of on the outer part of the lid to create a bit of a gradient with the other one that's really pretty actually, so I'm happy with that decision. Ooh, that gave it something. I don't know what it did, but it gave it something. So I'm going to go in. You guys saw how I did the shadow. I'm going to do my liner and I don't know if I'm going to do lashes. Okay, so I went ahead and did lashes because my natural lashes were not lashing today. They just weren't. So I did some Kiss lashes. They are in the style Ruffle, right? Yeah, Ruffle by Kiss. I just put those on and I put on my contacts. I use these to actually see like they're prescribed. I get them from 1-800 contacts. They're in the color Hazel. I just got something pretty natural and close to my eyes. I got some of these and then I have clear ones, but I just, I felt like the hazel would look cute. I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer. I've been obsessed with this Anastasia concealer and I've also been doing this thing where I try not to put it directly under my eyes just because I have like creases under my eyes and um, I don't want to accentuate them. So yeah, this is how I do my concealer, guys. I forgot to show you guys. I'm also using some of my new blinged brushes. These are her holiday collection. They're like very like icy and I love it. So I'm going to use the foundation brush and to blend this concealer out. I'm going to take like this brush to kind of I try to avoid getting a lot of concealer underneath my eyes so I find blending with a bit of a smaller brush really helps drag the product down and then so under this we're only adding like really light amount foundation brush just to blend that all together my bronzer I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer I just love cream products I have some really cute products I'm also going to share with you guys here in a minute but I'm going to go ahead and apply the bronzer first I got it in the shade medium it looks like this I like this bronzer because it just blends effortlessly link below because you need it gift yourself one for Christmas girl because this bronzer is really good it's probably my favorite one that I've used and I've used a lot so just take whatever's left on my brush and I put it in my nose. I don't do like a heavy, heavy nose contour. I'm going to go ahead. I know it's not fully blended. I know, I know. We will blend some more. Give me a minute. I'm going to go ahead and apply cream blush. Blush, I use this NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. And I'm just going to take a little angled brush. It's really, really pigmented. So the littlest 
amount goes a very very long way so I'll put it on my nose I guess it's like cold girl aesthetic you know to do this and I, really, I like that for the winter if you guys notice I haven't set my face at all and I might not you guys will um, I get extra dry in the winter sometimes powder just is not cute on me in the winter with the dryness so I'm just making sure everything is nice and blended we're going to pull out some powder products but we're not gonna set the face too much because like I said we don't need all that in this cold weather I'm dry AF so let me get the rest of my products BRB this is literally princess makeup definition of princess makeup so look at this box what what look at this you guys I am I am living, living. Look at this mirror. That's so, so cute. So I'm going to obviously link all these products down below. I wanted to use the blushes. Look at this packaging. Oh my gosh, look. Look at the detail on this. We also have this one. This one came with a pink box. And this packaging is absolutely everything. Look at this. I don't even want to use it. It's so pretty. But, I mean, we opened it to use it, so we're going to use it. But you guys... These are lip products and I'm like, look at the box. Look at, look at it. This is, this is so cute. I can't, I can't. Like the aesthetic of this is just everything. Like I just want to display all of these and like this packaging feels like, this is like good packaging. It feels amazing quality of products and so unique and so pink and so girly. So we have some more of these. Oh, this is what they look like. So cute. We have this. So this is a little eyeshadow palette. Just look at it. Oh, they're like jewels in there. Alright guys, my camera died so I went ahead and did my hair. And I was in the process of showing you guys all that cute new makeup. And I had one more thing to show you guys. It is this adorable brush. It came in the pink box as well. And you guys, how freaking cute is this? This is precious, absolutely precious. Okay, I'm kind of out of it because I stopped to do my hair and stuff. This is my hair. My extensions are Irresistible Me, I believe. So I'm going to link them. They're 18 inches. My shirt is from Shein, you guys. If you guys are interested, I'll link this below as well. Okay, let's continue on with the makeup, shall we? So I did my concealer, my foundation, my cream bronzer. I think you guys saw that, right? I think you did. For foundation, I used Too Faced Born this way. Go ahead and use this pink. Um, this is in 03 Classic Ballet. The other one is in 01 Angel Chanson. This is Angel Chanson. It's like a lighter, softer pink. And Classic Ballet is a little bit of a mauve pink so we're going to use this one to take a little fan brush and I'm just gonna get some on my brush we're just gonna blush up where is my gingerbread as you can see <gasps> that is gorgeous okay I feel like that sound on TikTok that is gorgeous literally gorgeous I like using a fan brush to do my blush sometimes because I could just like easily get it everywhere. I kind of like blush everywhere. I'm just like blush. Yes. I love how it's like so natural looking and soft. This is literally princess makeup. Like this is princess makeup. Straight up princess makeup. I'm obsessed with it. And the packaging you guys. I just... I died. We tried that blush. I do want to do my lip. They have these glosses here. I'm telling you guys, these look so alike. So I'll probably swatch them. But yeah, we're going to use one of these glosses. Oh, so okay. So I think they are different. So I'm going to swatch them. Oh, these are like liquid lipsticks. I'm so happy I opened these because I thought this was lip gloss, guys. So these are actually like moussey liquid lipsticks. Like look at the swatch. So that one is in the shade 06, so this one is 05. Okay, 05 is like a little bit more of like a reddish warm coral, I don't know. And then we have this one which is a lot more soft and natural and then this one's 04, 05, and 06. I think we're gonna go with 06 today, I feel like it will look good with my look so let me line my lips real quick and then we'll apply that i'm just using trying to finish all my kkw beauty lip liners let's take 06 and apply that these literally smell like starburst they smell so good 
They're so soft. Dude, this is like a your lip but better color. I like it. It reminds me of Velvet Teddy. It's so comfortable on the lips. It feels luxury. To leave information about these products down below because I I cannot read the box, you guys. It's all in Chinese, I believe. Like, I kind of do want to lighten up the center a little bit. I'm just going to take this Dose of Colors lipstick and I'm just going to lighten it in the center. We're going to do a highlight and then we will be done, you guys. You know what I haven't used on camera? This Givenchy lighting blush type thing. So I think we're going to top our blush with this. And um, we're going to take the other side of the fan brush. Because this gives such a pretty glow. Like, I've used this already. I just have not shown it in a video, I don't believe. I'm just going to put it on. They're pretty. I love this product. I'm going to do like some setting spray. By the way, to curl my hair, I use my Beach Waver. I use this pretty much every time I curl my hair. That's what I have used. It's my favorite curling iron that I own. I'm just going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish setting spray. Now for what you guys have been waiting for and it is the room tour. I know that if you clicked on this video, you're very excited. I do this kind of a Christmas room tour every single year and this year is not as extra as most years because I'm in between moving and things. This is a temporary room. Um, FYI, so definitely my I try to do minimal decor because I, I'm already like I have a lot of things in this room and I just don't want the room to look too cluttered with too much decor. The decor that I actually did do in the room, it's pieces that I really really loved that I found. I did find quite a bit of Christmas decor this year. I did use some of that decor to decorate my office so I'm hoping to show you guys my office decor before Christmas. Hopefully that'll be part of whatever vlog that I do in the upcoming days. But a lot of the decor went over there. Some of it I did put in storage just because we don't need it right now and some of it I did use to decorate my mom's living room. So that's where all the decor went if you guys are wondering all the decor from the halls because I did use like not a, like I didn't use all of it in this room pretty much. Um, okay. I'm gonna quit rambling now. Let's get into the room tour. Starting in this corner of my room, I have my vanity and some really sparkly pink curtains. And I went ahead and hung my mini chandelier here and my neon sign. I will insert a clip right here of what this looks like with the neon sign on because it's such a vibe when I have the neon sign on. It just makes me want to like film and get ready and it's, it's just really pretty. Okay, this is what the vanity looks like with the neon sign on love 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 it and i totally forgot to show you guys under my vanity i keep a trash can this lipstick container holds some of my beauty blenders i put it down here for now so i can have christmas decor on my vanity i don't like to clutter my vanity too much because i like having space to do my makeup um, i have my mirror that i just kind of grab and pull up when i do my makeup and then i have my slipper basket and this houses all my slippers and this is literally the perfect place to keep it because when I get ready and stuff, I could just grab some. My Christmas vanity. Look how cute. Look how cute. So this is from For Her Vanity. You guys have to follow For Her Vanity and like keep up with her because she comes out with the cutest, cutest makeup organizers as well as like little things like this little mirror. I've been using this to do my makeup. It's just so cute. Look at her. She has little eyelashes. Like, can we not? And, like, I've been obsessed with gingerbread this season. So, look how cute that is. I'm obsessed. So, I put all my new holiday makeup in here. And some old ones, too. Just so I can use it. I did not pull out my holiday palettes from last year. They're still in my, like, palette drawer. I just haven't had the chance. But I might do that. We'll see. We'll see. But I did want to take advantage and use all the new ones so I did pull those out then this is kind of like my favorite drawer all of the products in here I love so I use them frequently and that's kind of what is in here we have some more products in here that I love as well as new products like my new Charlotte Tilbury bronzer this new Too Faced holiday palette some new Kylie goodies these are just there for decor because I love these and this is not new by any means, but I really love it. And then up here on my vanity, I have some hand sanitizer. That's very important. Lip balm, my Dior lotion, some Victoria's Secret bombshell stuff, and then my most used hair items like my heat protectant and my dry shampoo. I always keep on my vanity. I have this little nutcracker from the $5 section at Walmart. 
I have my Kira Cosmetics powder, love this stuff. My Everyday Moisturizer from Lancome. This present thing from Michaels. I put hand sanitizer inside of my nutcracker. I use my hand sanitizer from in here. I know a lot of people turn this into just like a decoration piece, but I wanted to keep it as a soap dispenser so I can actually like use it in the bathroom of our like future home or whatever. Um, but for now, I just hold hand sanitizer. And then I have this sleigh here. The sleigh is from the Michaels store, the Ashline collection, I believe. And I have my brand new icy blue bling brushes. Can we not? These are gorgeous. I love them. I'm seeing a lot of brushes because I've been dirtying them. Look, there's a dirty one in there. <laughs> but yeah, th these are my little brush holders. I found these at Home Goods a while back. So I'm drinking coffee in my little boot mug. This was from Target like a couple years back. Of course, have my skincare fridge. Sometimes I open it, everything kind of comes out. Okay, no, it didn't. So. Here's what's in that if you're wondering. This is where my vanity is. We're going to go ahead and move over this way. So I have this little mirror that I can look in before I head out the door. It's just a little princess mirror. Touch up lipstick, you know, all of that. And then we have this huge built-in like shelf thing in this room and this is a lot of storage. So I really, really love it. I can store shoes bags all kinds of stuff the cabinets down here i have like extra purses wallets makeup bags and things like that it's not the most organized right now so i'm not going to show you guys that but i do want you guys to know this is a very old house um this is where i the house i grew up in so um there are imperfections like it's like vintage i guess like there's a little peeling on the paint and stuff i gotta fix so just know it's taken me so long to do this because i just haven't had time to fix those little things and i finally just talked myself out of like wanting it to be super like perfect i guess but um yeah just so you guys know this is this room is very shabby chic <laughs> let's put it that way it's very much my style i love antiques and stuff like that so i really love this room um I really do miss this room. I'm sad that this is a temporary room because I love this room, but you know, I am grown, so I'm, I don't plan on living at my mom's forever, obviously. We're just waiting on our new living situation right now, and so that's why we're here. If you guys are wondering why you're like, why are you doing a room tour of the room you had when you, like, I don't know, in 2018. I know you guys saw this room already in 2018. I did a tour. It looked very different, and I will link it below if you guys want to see it. But um, yeah, you guys have definitely seen this room before if you've been here that long. It's that same room. It's just way more pink now because I have way more stuff. I'm telling you guys, I fit our master bedroom and my walk-in closet in here. Like, besides the clothes, obviously. And um, it's kind of crazy, but I like it. On top, I do have some of my bigger tote bags and backpacks and stuff. In the middle, I decided to display some of my favorite Juicy Couture bags. Um... Pretty much all the Juicy Couture bags I have are my favorite, but like these are just the ones I decided to display that like fit in the space very well. The rest is basically like most of my shoe collection. This is not all of it because obviously I have like longer boots and things. I just kind of displayed my heels here. Down here we have some more bags. There is me. Hello. I'm wearing Christmas pajamas. This little middle section, It's this is like a tray I got on Amazon. I realize I'm not telling you guys much where anything's from, but like this furniture piece, it's not like it was built into the house, so I can't tell you where that's from. This mirror's from Walmart from a long, long time ago. Um, here I just have a vintage Juicy shopping bag. A lot of people don't like it when I say Juicy is vintage. Um, but it's like, it's been almost 10 years. It's vintage now, when things are more than 10 years old, they're considered vintage. But, I mean, it makes me feel really old too, so... I feel you sis. I have my little MAC Cosmetics Holiday Clutch. I have this Dior jewelry box. I have a old, I guess this is not necessarily vintage, but it's just like an older Victoria's Secret charm bracelet I got off Poshmark. I have this clutch that's so cute. I still need to DIY this. And then I have a little earring holder. Um, over here, I have this candle. I'll link the shop I got that from down below. It's from Instagram. I have a little Christmas tree. This is from the um, Michaels Ashland collection. This purse, I always get questions. This is a pearl furry bag from Lovely Flowers by Vianney. I will link her below. And then the rest are like 
just some part of my purse collection. Next we have this earring stand that I got from, well it's like a jewelry stand. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It has this really cute pink velvet in the back. But I just use it to house some of my Juicy Couture earrings. And then we have a Gucci bag from when I bought my Gucci loafers back here. We do have my Juicy Couture um, clear tote bag. I put some of my Victoria's Secret travel bags in there. I'm not using this bag currently because school. I was using this for school and school is out now. This is a bigger bag so when I need to carry my laptop this is great. But for finals I just needed like a pen and paper and like my iPad to study so that's why I use the smaller one. Fun fact. I do have this pearl bear. This is also from Lovely Flowers by Vianne. She just makes the most like darling room decor items and like cute display items. So again she will be linked below. I have my Stony Clover and Juicy Couture um, cosmetic case. Then I have my cosmetic case I just hauled from Burlington. I have my Christmas tree. So this is the Christmas tree from the at-home store. I was kicking myself for like not finding a topper for this tree. And then I realized it's kind of cute without one so I just left it. All of my decor is in storage guys. So like all the decor in this room I bought this year. <laughs> yeah, I just, you know, I couldn't get into my decor in the storage unit with enough time so I just decided why am I going to struggle digging through everything because we have all our furniture boxes of our stuff like our kitchen is packed in there it's really really hard to get into that storage to get the decor because the decor was there first so like it got drowned in all the other stuff got this tree from the at home store and I prefer this one over any other pink tree I've ever had I just think this one's so cute and like it's the perfect shade of pink. I love that it's kind of frosted, like it looks like it's snowed on. I just realized the cats must have like messed with it. But um, yeah, I did add this like fluff in between to make it look even more full and snowed on. And then these, if you guys watched all of my Christmas decor hauls, you will know where everything's from. But these are from the at home store found these at Walmart. I call this my nutcracker tree because there's mainly nutcrackers on it and then there's a few like different ones that look like little cookies. I have my little mixer. Um, the cookie ones I found on Amazon. The cookie ones also came with the nutcracker. He's so cute. And then this little deer is from Walmart. So yeah and then the rest of the the like ornaments these are all from the at-home store. Just I'm obsessed with how my tree turned out this year. This has to be one of my favorite trees, honestly. You have a little Chanel bow. I found the Chanel ribbon, so I just tied a Chanel bow onto one of the branches. I wish I had found more Chanel ribbon to do it all over, but I didn't feel like going through all of my, like, bag boxes, if you know what I mean. Down here, we have a few presents that I already wrapped. And I just put, like, that juicy bag for decor. We have some more juicy items that are presents back there. We have this little cubicle area and this is like my little perfume self-care purse shoe heaven. Like, let me just show you guys. So I have all of these perfumes on this little tray that rolls. Um, I really need to wipe this down. It's getting dusty. I'm telling you guys, I'm, I didn't make this like super perfect for this tour. I mean, I did clean up obviously, but... I didn't like wipe everything down like I should. I really need to. That's like what's on my to-do list for like, you know, over my break is to dust everything. Um, I did hang my little Santa Claus canvas that I found at Burlington. Um, I have my cake tower with a lot of my perfumes. I have this tray with a lot of my Juicy Couture fragrances. I did put my new... Victoria's Secret teas on here as well because it just made sense there. I have a little Christmas candle lit. This is vanilla gingerbread. I found this at Burlington. And then we have this little um, nutcracker trapped in a globe um, with a little tree and a present. Got that at Michael's. I have more perfume. Can you tell I like to smell good? I mean, girl. We wash ourselves over here, okay? So I have more perfume. These are more like my favorites that I kind of go to often. I like how this organizer allows me to see all of them rather than like these are kind of like, you know, all in there. This one is like spread out and easy to like just pick one. So I put my favorites here. Then I have my little Clara the Nutcracker thing from the at home store. You guys know I went crazy when I found this. Down below we have more bags. I mean, are we even surprised at this point? Like, 
it's bag heaven in this room. <laughs> so we have a lot of juicy bags in here mainly and then other bags like this one I just got that you guys saw me haul. I just got this little backpack on Poshmark. Super cute. It smelled like smoke when I got it but I mean we aired it out. It's fine now. Um, we have this one from Classically Plastic. Love her and this is so cute. We have a Victoria's Secret one. I kind of honestly started just stuffing them in there. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, that's what happens when you have one room and you got to fit it all in there. We have my furry, like, viral bag. We have this bag. This is a Daydreamer. It's hot pink and light pink, and it is gorgeous. So happy I found this. We have more juicy bags in here. If you guys want a juicy couture bag collection, you know, that's up on my channel. I do have some new bags. And there will be a vintage Juicy Couture Finds video soon. Like a thrifted Juicy haul, I guess. So stay tuned for that. We have some of our uh, modern Juicy bags here. And then we have some shoes. And then inside of these, there is just stuff. Like we have body care items, candles. There is more body care items, bath bombs and stuff. Hair care items. Um, we have some like warm, warm things like beanies and things, gloves, things that I reach for to go outside. And in this one, I have miscellaneous things like there's cleaning stuff, makeup wipes, um, juicy couture wipes, just miscellaneous stuff. Some of this stuff is stuff I gotta get rid of, but some of this stuff is just necessities that I just throw in there. Let's scoot back because um, my ottoman kind of sits here in the middle. Uh, of the middle of all this. Here I just have some pink heels and some juicy jewelry that I like to look at. I was doing an Instagram picture so that's why these are out like this. Cute. Love it. Get to this side and we have my bed and my nightstand. So I did try to fit two nightstands in here. It didn't work with this king size bed, okay? So we kept one nightstand and then I put my mannequin on this side of the room and it worked out. I feel like it looks very cute, very chic. We have these canvases on top of the bed. The two on the sides I got from the at-home store. The middle one, I made it. So, yeah. The bedding that I have is all Juicy Couture. Well, not all of it, but like the comforter. Oh, camera's sliding, guys. So the comforter, the sheets, the quilt that's underneath this like Leopard quilt, that's all Juicy Couture. Sheets are Juicy Couture. And I got, got them in different places actually. Let me go through it. So the actual comforter is this like velvet material. It's such good quality. I've had this since we got our, queen, our king bed. How long has it been? Like two or three years already since I've had this king bed. And I've had the same comforter on it the whole time. It's such good quality. I found this at Macy's. Um, the actual quilt, the leopard quilt, that is from Burlington. I get a lot of stuff from Burlington and I love Juicy. A lot of the stuff I have is Juicy. These pillows, however, so I have a story. So I could not find pillows that I liked. And these were covers I ordered on Amazon. If I can find them, I'll link them. And then I just went to the at-home store and I got the pillows to fill it. And it was way cheaper that way. Because I don't know if you guys know, but like one pillow like this will be like $40. Or like $40 for two. And then you need three. So then you have to buy two packs and you have one left over. And then you spent like $80. So yeah, I liked on Amazon I was able to buy the exact amount of pillows I needed. And the at-home store I was able to get the exact amount of pillows I needed. Because they were sold separately. And way, way cheaper. And then these I got at the at-home store. These like bronzy... I don't even know. They're really pretty though. I got those at the at-home store. Um, these right here with the metallic pink and gold, I got those at the Burlington store. I got the gold one at Burlington. This Mary one's also from Burlington actually. So that's like my little Christmas decor for my bed here. The Christmas decor is very minimal this year. I know you guys are used to me going all out. But um, with my moving situation and everything, this is just what I was able to do. And this room, like, I already had to fit so much in it. So I didn't want to clutter it with too much decor. I feel like this is, like, the perfect amount for me. Um, where it gets me in the spirit. It looks really cute. And um, 
it's not cluttery, so I like it. We do have my Juicy Couture little doggy. I got this when I bought a Juicy Couture fragrance at Ulta, and it has like a Juicy... Can you guys see it? Oh, there it is. It has like a Juicy Couture like ribbon around this blanket from Sam's. And I'm a big blanket person. I have this ottoman. Look, my pajamas are like spilling out of it. <laughs> I got this ottoman and I keep throw blankets and pajamas in there. And I do keep a lot of blankets on top because when we have movie nights or whatever, if I don't want to unmake the bed, like if I'm just watching a show real quick or whatever, you know, I just, I like to grab a blanket. I'm always cold too. So if I'm getting ready, I, I grab a blanket, etc. So we do have this adorable Christmas pink um, blanket here. And I have my hospital table. So I actually got this hospital table when I had my surgery. And um, I kept it as a editing desk for my bed. <laughs> and so it lives there now. So I have my laptop, I have my headset, and my Xbox remote. Because I like to play it on my Xbox as like a hobby. And so yeah, I keep that there nice and accessible some of my suitcases there the only reason they're out like this usually i would have them put away but it's because we're traveling quite a bit um at the start of the year so for new year's we're actually not going to be here and then mid-january we're we have to go do wedding things so i've just been keeping my suitcases out guys so up here we have my little i don't know i call this my christmas corner so i'm gonna turn on the nutcracker so you guys can see how magical it looks brb okay so i mean it's so cute it's daytime right now and there's a skylight in this room so i can't really show you guys what this looks like at night but it looks so pretty with these on and the christmas tree on i'm sad because two of the bulbs were broken on this one and they're completely like sold out of these nutcrackers so I can't get any more, and I told you guys this house is old, so there's like a little chip right there. Um, yeah, and then I have not put light bulbs up on this like thing, um, but that lights up the canvas, which is super, super pretty. I really need to get light bulbs for that and show you guys. So moving along this way, this is a door to the closet, and then I have a chest of drawers with my lingerie. And on here, I have this juicy bag that's missing the bow because I'm currently painting it for a DIY that you guys will see pretty soon. So this was actually the gray and black juicy bag, and I'm painting all the black leather pink. And it looks so gorgeous. Like, can you, like, believe that I painted this? Like, it doesn't even look like I painted it, honestly. It looks like it was just supposed to be this way. I still have to clean up the hardware. I just finished painting it. I started painting one of the handles. <laughs> I have to paint the other one. So yeah, this is a work in progress. So I just keep her out because I don't want her to get ruined. Um, and yeah. So over here, I just have my Juicy Couture gym bag. And on this corner, I have my floor length mirror so I can see my outfits. This floor length mirror is from the at home store. I also have this mirror that goes on the door. And this is actually a jewelry chest. So let me open it and show you guys. Okay, so it unlocks with the key and I keep all of my jewelry in here. And this is, I got this on Amazon, so I'm going to link it. And it's amazing. None of my necklaces tangle ever again. I used to have this issue really bad with it whenever I had just like my pack system jewelry organization. My necklaces were always getting tangled. And this just, it's such a much better solution. And this houses like everything. I don't have that much jewelry, I don't feel so... It works out, I really like it. Moving over this way, I have my TV. I actually had like Paris Hilton on here earlier with her Juicy Couture video she did. Um, but yeah, now it's moved on to a Kim Kardashian video apparently. So yeah, I have my fireplace and um, love this fireplace because it stores so many things. Like this opens up and in here i have like some tech organization look at all those cords <laughs> girl but yeah i have some tech organization all of my apple boxes for my ipads and stuff i have my ipads i have legally blonde i mean obviously i really need the mean girls dvd as well just like as a collector's piece i need to find it i have some of my diy luxury books that i used to make and then we have manny's colognes and like his belts and stuff 
This is like his cologne belt corner in here. Yes, we did um, bring our big O TV from our living room. I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, we didn't want to put it in storage and risk it like getting ruined, so we just brought it. And then over here, I have my bank, which I need to find another spot for this because this is not a good spot for it at all. And then I have this gorgeous little vintage box and I don't have anything in it really. It's just decor. And then we have a candle. We have this here. I have this mirror that was a gift. This I found might have been Burlington, might have been Ross. I have one of my flower boxes that I used to make. I have a Bath and Body Works candle. This is literally my favorite sprinkled birthday cake this one and champagne toast and strawberry pound cake are my favorite so i have this chest of drawers it's like a mirrored chest of drawers i got this from impressions vanity and this houses like a lot of things like my phone cases my sunglasses belts and a scarf nails juicy couture jewelry more Juicy Couture, eyelashes, palettes, and some hair tools. In here, this is actually a little like lap desk thing. Here's a picture. Um, and this is so I can like edit, but I use the hospital table mainly. We mainly use this when we eat, like uh, if we eat in here, like we have popcorn and like snacks and movies. Completely forgot to show you guys on this side of my fireplace. I have this big nutcracker I found at Ross and I have my yoga mat back there and I have a stepping stool because we all know I'm the CEO of five feet tall. We get to my purse shelf. Um, I call this my purse shelf. And, uh, you know, it houses some headbands too, but it's mainly purses. Got this shelf thing for my mom, actually. Um, this used to be brown. I painted it white a long time ago when I first moved back in with her in, like, 2018. I dragged this outside and painted it. I don't know how I did it, but I did. <laughs> and it came out pretty good, and it's held up pretty well, so... Yeah. So we have some purses up here, some storage boxes, purse, decor... This mirror is from Hobby Lobby. We have some jewelry here, some wallets, um, my YSL, I love this bag. I use this bag for every special occasion. Um, some headbands, some more purses. And we have my baby and she's sleeping. I got my baby's little beds not long ago and they love them look how comfortable she is in it do you guys ever buy something for your pets and it just like fills your entire soul to see them using it because that's how i feel that's how i feel about her in her little bed right now look at her it's so cute you're so cute mamas you're so cute i love you very much yeah i'm so happy you're comfy and then we come back this way and we're back at the vanity and door so yeah that's my entire room tour you guys i hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed filming it like always all right guys that was everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this very pink a very girly christmas get ready with me and room tour i know i'm cramming a lot of content into these videos guys but literally there's like what six days until christmas right now so we're gonna get this content up and I'm so excited for you guys to see upcoming content, content for the new years. I will have a life update here pretty soon for you guys as well. I quit rambling now because I can sit here and talk to you guys forever. Y'all are my favorite people on the earth. So I could literally talk and talk and talk to you guys for like ever and ever and ever. But I mean, I know you guys get bored of me talking at some point. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around